Today you're going to learn everything you need to know about EPICS. In fact, the five key insights I'm about to share with you have helped the many organisations I've worked with to get a lot more value from EPICS. And thanks to these key insights, you'll be able to help your organisation transition from a more traditional project mindset to a more lean and agile product mindset. Keep watching. Hey, it's James Holpern here. Welcome to another episode of Agile Soundbites, where we explore bite-sized insights that will help on your Agile journey. Now, if you didn't check out my first bite on Agile artifacts, you might want to check that out now. Simply click on the link above. But just as a brief recap, we looked at a three-level Agile requirements hierarchy, starting with epics, decomposed into features, and then stories. And then we looked at those three levels through four different dimensions, including size, format, owner, and life cycle. Today we're going to look at epics, which are at the top of our hierarchy. Are you ready? Let's jump in. Insight number one. How big is an epic? Well, an epic is the largest artifact in our system. It must be bigger than 12 weeks. Chances are it's a lot bigger. So in terms of size, it's similar to a project, but that leads to insight number two. Insight number two, an epic is not a project. In Agile, we want to move away from the start-stop nature of projects and more towards a product mindset, which is based around the continual flow of customer value. More on that shortly. In insight number three, epics require more work. Now there is a key difference between epics and the other artifacts and that's size. Now because epics are much larger, we want to make sure that we're managing our risk and our investment more incrementally. To achieve this, the epic requires some additional work including analysis, the definition of a minimum viable product, a lean business case and financial approval before implementation. For more information on these additional elements, I'll leave a link in the comment section below. Insight number four, avoid the big bang. Now, epics can be quite large, but that doesn't mean we want to take a big bang approach to their development. Remember, it's all about the continual flow of customer value. To achieve this, we take guidance from the lean startup model and leverage MVPs to test our underlying assumptions in a highly iterative build, measure, learn cycle. Applying this model to epics allows us to manage investment and risk incrementally while leveraging flow and visibility. If you'd like more information on MVPs, then be sure to check out my bite. Just click on the link above. Insight number five, epics require epic owners. Now we know that product owners are empowered to define stories and prioritize the team backlog. And we know that product managers are empowered to define features and prioritize the program backlog. But as epics are so large, they require their own owner, and we call that owner the epic owner. Now, epic owners can come from anywhere, but ultimately they're responsible for creating the additional elements, such as the lean business case. Um, they're responsible for leading and driving the epic in its formation stages, and they're responsible for shepherding it during implementation. Okay, so I know I said I was going to share five insights with you, but there's one more super important insight I need to share with you right now. Bonus insight, Portfolio Kanban Board. To shine a light on our most important portfolio initiatives, make sure that your epics are being pulled through a Portfolio Kanban Board. In this way, the Portfolio Kanban will become the key mechanism used to visualize, manage, and analyze the prioritization and flow of portfolio epics from ideation to implementation and then on to completion. So it's super important that you use one. I hope you enjoyed this Agile Soundbite. If you did, then please like or share it and help build the Agile Soundbites community. Are you using Epics this way? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and bye for now.